and welcome back to CK2 where we are playing Kaiser Jacob in three months we're going on our crusade and yeah we are a little bit of a zealous character so we will certainly accompany the troops here so we have a, a woman here who came the king here wasn't there like another person it wasn't yeah he was the died under suspicious circumstance h3 Interesting, let's say. Interesting. Okay, they're also going without an heir, I think, because he, she's going to be too old by the time that happens, so probably she's going to be inheriting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and raise the fleets, although probably we don't need all of the fleets. So, there. Okay, we're also holding some random territory Syria, but basically those are the fleets I want. And you bring them all here into southern France, please. In preparation for the armies as well. 60 days. The Marshal, King of Arles. Fine. I'm still in prison because of the leader of plot, but that was just a minor plot. I will not think too harshly of him. And we are going to raise basically everything, but we are going to be a little bit more lenient on these eastern territories because here it's not needed. Yeah, but everybody else. You please gather here in the south of France because that's where we're gonna be embarking from. arms is accepted, Deus Volt, we immediately gain some piety, and let's figure out the logistics here. We're just in time more or less, we could have gotten a little bit earlier here, sure. Last stragglers are here going through the Swiss area here now still. It's okay. Okay, 14k troops, we're gonna embark them already. Okay, another 16k troops also there can go on the boat. The first people are already going, basically, but we will follow them very closely. I think we will not be late. And I have pretty high expectations that we might actually get the biggest contribution if we're actually putting in effort here. Okay. Getting them on the boat. So everybody's in the boats. Yeah, the only one is the retinue that we have stationed over there. That's fine though. So, boats, let's go to Italy. Uh, sorry, go to Egypt. Okay, the Byzantines are also already expanding here, so maybe we, maybe the Pope is more like reactionary on this one, and actually the, the Orthodox are already doing most of the stuff here for us getting the holy land in control at least. Ok, 
Okay, we're almost there. There's a huge amount of troops here in these lands. So, let's get things done. You will go here. And I will assign myself here as the leader of that army and a few troops on the side. Then the next one, you go here. The third one, you go there. Then lastly, we have one more army of 14k. I think we're gonna go ahead and bring that here. I think this is the capital, maybe. For this troop, I would like to also get just a few characters assigned. Maybe I place some of them, that's fine. Finally, I stand before the destination of the crusade with the sword in hand. I'm ready to storm the walls of Al Farama. Excellent. Become a crusader. That's also excellent. Okay, we're winning these small, very small things. Okay. Oh, somebody else here, the stupid Normans. Okay, let's spread out a bit. And maybe it's worth it to seek some... I, I saw a large stack of people up here somewhere. I'm just not sure where they are. And the young boy for sure is not leading the troops. Hard to say. So what's our... Patron of Ver Piety of 2000. That's not too far off, I guess. It's not, I mean, better than Grooming Air, maybe. Let's try for it. Paragon of Virtue. Okay, there's a, a fight that will happen down there. So, my thought was up here we probably have a large army somewhere hidden, but I don't know where. But let's get with one army forward so that we can maybe there still it's a very annoying habit that they are not giving us the sieges okay the normans abandoned here i think so that'd be nice jihad for egypt oh my god are they fighting now here Yeah, yeah, so, oh my god. <laughs> so the Muslims from Spain, they are crusading against the Byzantines who are holding some territory in Egypt while the Christians are doing a overall conquest of the remainder of Egypt. So this is pretty wild, I would say. So we're gonna move our troops over there and just see if we can spread out the siege a bit. Because that would be just lovely if we can get some war score from sieges. I think we haven't gotten much participation yet. Can I check that? Um, actually, we're pretty okay. We just need really a lot more. Yeah, so let's get crusading. A woman accused of witchcraft has been dragged before the court. Several witnesses have seen her performing dark rituals in a secluded hut. Um, well, obviously, burn her at the stake. I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, we need a little bit of support here to get those sieges going, but hopefully they will jump in on that, the guys. 
not, then we will just withdraw some of our troops up here to get over there and help with carpet sieging. A Lollard revolt, of course. As we camp for the night, riders uh, bearing the cross suddenly approach. Led by the pious grandmaster of the Knights of Kalavatara, they settle down for us for the night. Just before I'm going to sleep, he asked me if I want to, up, to stay up and converse with him. Sure. Opportunity of friendship. We'd love to have like pious friends or become Malays. I'm worried that he's infected with the bubonic plague. Oh no. That's the last thing I want. Let's see about these idiots here in Slutsk. Okay, somebody's attacking us here. Not sure who. Also don't have any good commanders here realistically. Can I just go up here? Up there, there, and then there. Maybe the commanders of the others will help us. To alleviate your pain, he lights three candles and had to join hands with him. After a moment of silence, he had to repeat some words he did not understand. I'm not sure if that did anything. So, very young. We should, should be able to survive a plague, right? We get the flu. Mm -hmm. The court physician has come to you and offer you treatments for illness. He explains that several different types of treatment. Your li my life is in your hands, so let's check this guy out. Poo. It's just a flu after all right now. Health minus two, it's fine. As long as you know what you're doing. I think we're not gonna do the crazy stuff. Insisted that your humors were out of balance. I actually feel better. All right. So, what do we need? Tolerance again? to get the negatives from different religions and so on away. Centralized stuff, mm, religious customs is not so needed. We're trying to unify on Christian. Tolerance, let's go with tolerance. So how's the contribution working for us? Not epidemic. Yeah, we're at the top one by far now. Erda, the maid of Samland. My lord, there are strange tidings from the county of Samland. As our count country suffers under the strains of war, a young woman has come forward and declared that the lords have spoken to her and instructed her to deliver us from the enemies of our land. She wears armor, wields a sword, and rides with the soldiers. Her name is Frida, and she is said to be approaching your court at this very moment to offer her services to you as a leader in this war. Surely there is an absurd notion that a young peasant woman should take the role of a marshal or general in the Kaiser's army. Well, she's pretty darn good. Let her let us receive her and see what she can do for us, of course. Sounds very good. So how are we going with the attack here? The attack is incoming. There's a few people coming with us. But if we're going to go for the attack, I will instruct a few of my men to help out here. Okay, we're getting slow victories and my marshals are improving and I lose the flu. Perfect. Okay, this is just done. So let's move those troops over here to continue sieging. Another victory. Where was that? Okay, he managed to get the Lollard Uprising guy done for. Ah, we need to offer him peace in the sense that we enforce the demands. And then, yeah, we'll execute him as a peasant rebel of a different religion nonetheless. 
so we should be winning that crusade in just a second and that should be going to us then, right? As I pass through Al Quisei, I come to the Duke Uberto of Zap. He invites me to spend some time in his camp to get to know one another better in the crusade. Sure. Making some friends on the trail, I'm all for it. So, the Catholic Crusade for Egypt has ended. Pope Catelius III has won. Victorious Crusaders. God has granted Kaiser Jacob IV of Germany victory in the Crusade for Egypt. A tip Height has been beaten at every turn through the war, and he has finally had to give up his holdings in Egypt. Kaiser Jacob IV has granted the new lands of Egypt to Jacob Salian, to myself. <laughs> the Pope has made an announcement about the victory and virtues of the crusade, as true faithful protectors of the, of the faith. With the Muslims being pushed out of the lands, there are certainly more conflict to come. Praise God. Indeed. And that means that this land now belongs to us, so we can dock our our stuff and we can also dismiss our troops here without any penalties right uh a little bit penalty somehow not sure why it's fine though and at home we can build up some more retinue that is also nice so we will do that because i'm thinking that we will probably leave our troops stationed down here because this is at the edge of the known world so i became a part patron of virtue of course and the only thing left to do here is grooming an heir so yeah so let's check out this region here so the kingdom of egypt we hold it we don't want to hold it of course uh, this is definitely not land that i would personally wish to administrate so the question is, who would be tasked in administrating it? Yeah, unfortunately, we could not give it like to our sisters because they are sisters. We had a, an uncle that we could have given it to, but we don't have one right now. So then, let's see. In the realm, can I figure out my religion? Men? Who are not a ruler yet can I filter by my dynasty I think I can just enter the name of my dynasty the say Salian. yeah that helped so we have a kinsman here a young one we have an older man here good bird yeah he's excommunicated not not would not be a good look But here, this this guy. I like that. Mm, I like that generally. Signing. Well, he can marry who he wants. Just like I will be his guardian probably, if I can make it so. So the Duchy of Cairo. I'll give to you. Uh huh. Let's let it take for a second. Yeah, now he's in Cairo, I think. And we will grant you also the Kingdom of Egypt, because I do not want to administrator that. It should go to one of my kinsmen. Very well. And I will arrange for a guardian, namely... It could be me, myself, because I just want to make sure that he's turning out alright. That could be good. I will keep my troops stationed down here in your area. Yeah, and let's just take a quick look at that. He has like no man. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's why they're so weak always to get reconquered because this land will take a few years, I guess, to really be up to defensive qualities again. So under under our umbrella of of the German Empire, I think he will be much more safe and we will hold this now forever instead of uh, losing it to the next best uh, guy who comes along and wants it. So yeah, already in young years we were extremely successful in that. 
And he of course accepts our guardianship as is expected. And we could become kind. A man claiming to be the lord who disappeared seven years ago found a way to my castle. He sings of the fair queen Elfland and some of these things are patriotic. Um, well, sure, we become kind. Why not? Okay, we have some troops stationed here. Then these two armies we need to unite. So, an army in every one of our areas of interest. The central one is a little bit weak here, but we have some other troops here as well. That's fine. Ah, so nice. And my wife will soon be of age as well, at which point we can start with the heir. Frida, the noble, reacts. My Kaiser, the lords of the realm complain. They think it is most unfitting and strange that a young maid of low birth is allowed to make such a prominent position when there are noble lords pl plenty who are much more well prepared and competent to lead your army. Some of them are asking you to do so. Why are you doing this deliberate insult to her? Mm -hmm. There's also the issue of her claiming to be the personally sent by God. It sounds rather heretical. That might be true, although I think we would be um, we would find her quite an intriguing character. Let them moan, I'm the Kaiser. I agree with this woman. I agree, but this woman is popular. Yeah. Yeah, I think that we would use our diplomacy to, to smooth that over. It was hard to notice at first, but there can be no doubts about it. My... She's left-handed. Oh my god. This so sort of deviancy should not be allowed to take root. Let, let, let it uh, encourage more ungodly behaviors later in her life. Uh... Using the right hand was more practical. The child is fine like this. So, hmm. We're not so stupid, right? Patient and diligent. So let's tell her, teaching her to the right hand, but maybe if she becomes left handed, then so be it. So, about you. Uh, demand religious conversion? Yes. Finally. Yes, it's most wise that you come become Catholic again. And about you, would you not like to be a vassal of mine? Wow, power is so big. Why can I only extort tribute? Like, this should be the sure territory of the king here. It's ridiculous. Okay, what about, do I actually get threat for that? No, I got no threat for like that stuff. All right. Okay, they have 50k troops, 50k. That's more than I have, right? Ah, uh, no, it's actually close. Crazy what type of armies compositions we have now here. That is pretty wild. Like, I think the, the thorn in my side is the Pomeranians, that they are not part of the empire. They ought to be. Um. She has decided to obey my order and force herself to become right-handed. So, good, good girl. And we're improving still with that guy. That's not necessary anymore. You can just generally improve with people. Yeah, I would love to have the Pomeranians part of Germany. That would make so much more sense. I mean, diplomatically, like if you imagine like the situation as it is on the ground, like I think they would be our biggest trade partner. We would be their biggest trade partner. They would feel as if they're part of the empire maybe but like they have like some special autonomy that's probably how i imagine it it's not that they are actually completely considering themselves independent they're after all our kin and closely tied to us but yeah we could not get them home into our realm we can only claim like a little bit of the jour titles so the biggest thing would be I guess if we can request a claim from the Pope, and we can, for the Duchy of Pomerania. Because he's excommunicated. It will cost me almost a thousand piety, but so be it. 
Derek Dealer, yeah, very good. The Pope Grand R request. Yes. The Pope has granted our request. Then we are allowed to claim all of Pomerania up here and that should completely destabilize things. So we need not so many troops I think. So let's raise only kind of what's needed, which is mainly our own troops here, I think. Frida and the Kaiser. One evening at court, Frida approaches you and asks you to speak with you in private. You agree, and the both of you sit down to talk in your chambers. Frida speaks of, of her visions of Christ and the quest to save the country from the enemy. She speaks with passion, a simple honesty and forceful seal, both coming across as she looks into your eyes. She declares her fierce loyalty and love for you as the chosen Kaiser. You are quite impressed by her passion, intelligence and sincerity. Thank you for coming me. You are truly sent by Jesus. We both know you're a power-hungry imposter. No, I would say you're truly sent by Jesus. Seal. Frida looks at you with tears and jo joyous fever in her eyes. My lord, you are the highest and also the wisest man in the realm. God shall guide you through me and the people shall be sa saved. With the sword of righteousness in my hand, guided by your wisdom and the will of God, we will be victorious. Well, so it shall be. Young Frida, I will mark you down so I will not lose you. And I saw that there's a few people joining, mainly the Croatians. There are 12k troops. That is quite a big amount of troops here down there. So we will raise a few more troops here from our vassals. And let's get them up here as a Another thing, the Battle of Mycen. One day you'll have to specialize. I hear the voice of my quarters in my head. I look to the battlefield and, and force of Mycen. So what it will be, a winter soldier, rough terrain, cavalry, light-footed. I think rough terrain sounds good. But also I think I will actually take a break from after this crusading thing that I will probably not be participating in this war directly, but rather have it be fought for me. Okay, we're definitely willing to ransom our people. There's no need for them to be stuck in my prisons. Yeah, we'll quickly siege that down since it's so low people. Could you just turn around and just get get help on that? Okay, how much faster they can get out? 16? 15? 18? 12. Alright. So we'll go to mines and then we'll flank them back. And you can also come up here, please. Uh, yeah, these guys you can quickly each that and we'll go down there okay we need like people to we need like commanders we have like no commanders that's crazy If it's available, then allow me to promote commanders, please. Excellent. Did I get some already? No. It's only me. I don't want to be the only commander here.
Mm. I think they could they can hold up probably. At least it looks really good. Frida and the common folk. The entire country is boiling with rumors and gossip of Frida, the humble country girl who rose to become the trusted servant of the Kaiser. Hoping to defeat the realm's enemies and blossom blossoming, the peasants everywhere are celebrating this fantastic tale of the virgin savior from the humblest rank of society. She's truly a legend in her own time. The peasants love that story. They definitely eat that up. Can I go down to Prague to capture some of those? Probably not, but let's see if we can be on their tail anyway. The Croatians are coming also. Okay. Let's meet up here in the capital and you can return back here. Because we're gonna have to see about those Croatians in a second. Okay, let's see if we can go here to Bamberg. And we are locked into Bamberg, that's fine. So let's get some people over here and then we'll fight them in Bamberg. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That is dreadful. And there are reinforcements coming as well. All right, we have to get out of there. And we definitely need to raise a few more troops here. So get ready up here. Okay, also troops from France can come over here, definitely. Swabian troops maybe. Uh, another 13k troops should be should be a good start. You can maybe come up here, how about that? Okay, pretty brutal. We also could invest a bit in our building up infrastructure since we are interested in doing that. So let's do that. And I will call the episode here on a little bit of a cliffhanger, but I'm sure we can resolve that, that little conflict here uh, next episode. See you then. Take care.